Well, thanks for checking out the platform. Season 2 on the way shortly. We had so much fun in Season 1. So many incredible guests and artists that came on the show to perform. Of course, Warwick starring in his regular segments, Warwick's World. We've got some new sponsors coming up on the show, including Property AU, and it's fun being out and about filming in Melbourne. We were off to the MCG. Warwick had a big event on. We stopped by the shop there for Warwick to sign some autographs down into the museum which is fantastic, all the stuff from cricket and of course AFL and it's here that Warwick takes charge. Good boys, there's my boots. There's my boots. Hi boys. Big brother, fat pizza. How are you? He's me. He touched me. Yeah, Warwick posing beside his boots there in the uh, Hall of Fame Museum and of course the kids always seem to love him. Platform TV show. Yeah, so we left the museum and before the event, a quick radio interview. Warry Cap is here straight from the National Museum. I just saw my boots. About to do a little lunch with Dusty Martin. Thanks to Property AU for all your real estate needs. You ring, we ring. <laughs> How are you? So some footy tips and a typical plug fest, and it was unusual to see the MCG empty after watching so many games, but uh, in the members room, an awesome event, the Legends Lunch, all for Perry Cross and uh, some of the greats of the game. And if you haven't heard of Perry Cross, an amazing story. You're about to meet Perry Cross. His spirit and determination is nothing short of remarkable. At the age of 19, his world was turned upside down when he broke his neck in a rugby match. He was left a quadriplegic, needing a ventilator to breathe. Now for most people in this situation, their life would probably be over, but not for Perry. He's gone on to become a motivational speaker, get a uni degree, and now wants to skydive. Perry joins us this morning. <laughs> Good morning to you. He's a super inspirational guy, and all the things that he does for our research in a spinal cord injury, it's incredible. Now, Clint Stanaway from Channel 9 was the host of the night, interviewing some of the legends up on stage. And of course, when he took the mic to go around the room, look out. And over here. And then, it needs no introduction, but to dance one. Warwick Kappa, ladies and gentlemen. Kappa! Now, can I get you to put the jacket on as well? I'm really digging the jacket. Don't be shy. Come on, Wiz. Here he is, Warwick Kappa. Good, good. How about yourself on this, uh, this glorious Friday? Fantastic. Let's get Perry. <laughs> Let's get the great sporting greats like yourself, Dusty Martin, Ken Cochin, and all other legends for coming. Don't have any time for the great Perry Cross. Personal friend of mine for 25 years. Let's get Perry Cross. Thank you for that having his time. He's a bit like me, I'm not music three thousand an hour, but he's done out his time. And I'm, I'm available for shows on Wiz 39 Capra G now. So I've been fucking those all over Australia, I've been bar mitzvahs, leading funerals, even this. What was your question, Clint? Alright, here we go. We're on the MCG. What's, what's the best Warwick Capper moment on the MCG? I did have about four and a half thousand moments, but... Um, <laughs> Stephen Dusty's here. Um, back in 87, I took Mark of the Century. Uh, we were 48 points down. Tony Joe was the coach. He pulled out the rest of his hair. I had it by a bad afternoon. I kicked nine. Six in the last quarter. One by 20 points. And probably the magic moment was taking, to be honest, it was taking the Mark of the Century on Chris Langford. I was up there for six and a half hours. <laughs> I was higher than Ricky Nixon. <laughs> because drugs went bad back then. I went, I was wearing camera! You little fucking beauty! Right, I was up there for six and a half hours, Clint. I thought, I better mark it. It might be a free gift. <laughs> I hope you're on. I just stuck there. It wasn't Mark of the Century. It's probably Arsehole of the Year. But I won that many cars and that many marks of the year. Hey man, if I can go, yeah. Great question, man. So it was a super fun event. Perry up on stage, a lot of money raised with the auctions and uh, Warwick killing it there for the crowd. Then a few days later, being invited out to the Carlton Football Club to hang out with Daisy Thomas. I'm going to go and give the Warwick Hepper advice where most of us in our heads for a living. And I didn't lose too many games. We lost about three games, 1987, 52nd. 
So I'm going to come and tell Daisy how to paint take proper marks and hand in the for a cap mark this hatchery, which I made 5.6 million dollars out of. That's only a good foot footy card in Australia. Because they're all classics. And as you can see, he didn't earn a frame. <laughs> He's got to kick a hundred to get that. So let's go and fix up Carlton TV. So we arrived at Princess Park. Daisy starting his first podcast and uh, interviewing one of his heroes. It is Daisy for his first touchline. 39. Yeah, in the number 39. He's wearing that because he was a big Warwick Kappa fan. I am your host, Dale Daisy Thomas, and today joining me for episode one is a man who needs no introduction, but I'm sure he would absolutely love to give you one. Mr. Guest, take it away. This is Warwick Capper, the lead main excitement machine, blonde hair, blue eyed, ready for takeoff for Count Media and Daisy. Daisy himself has got a pretty good highlight reel of grabs in the air, and of course at some point they talk about hangers and Warwick talking about this one. I'm looking up the clock, Daisy. At your ground, we're out here. We're actually here now. Princess Park. I looked up. I visualised and said, "I'm going to be a hero here. I'm going to be a hero once again." How far out? I'm going to mark this. So I took the hanger over Warren McKenzie, who's um. Was it just a hanger, or was it a proper sort of ball comes in? Yeah. yeah. No, I was only average one of those. I was only halfway up. Just so, a gapper. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't just a gapper. Wasn't a kicky up, but you know. So I fixed up my McKenzie. Looked up. Thirty-one seconds to go. Um, I just visualised greatness, which you have to. I've got a board of the cribs of yourself. Yep. Yep. I've got a whole room of yourself with about 5,000 photos called the Kappa Room, the Kappa Room of Greatness. And I visualised five goals a game, five or six, six goals every game, which I did. And I went through 51 metres out, and poor was he was sacked. 51 metres out. I couldn't believe it. I watched that replay 5,000 times. You're yeah. similar to me. You can barely kick over a jam. Oh, yeah. You busted one home from 51 metres. I kicked 35, 40 straight. That's my range. I was happy with that. But I thought I'm going to try and win this, and we just reached out rules on the mark. And, um, he couldn't touch it and went over his head. So, four walls were sacked, and that was football. That was football. The Wizards just raced off to get a text message. All right, mate. Another another engagement coming. So after the guys finished talking, Daisy took him out to the field where Warwick could relive it. I was 989. I'm only on 37,000 a week, so I had to do something. I was about to get dropped. Warren McKenzie, Nick Andy, got in front of me, right? I said, right, I'm gonna be a hero here. I'm right here. I went up with Warry Kappa McKenzie, sat in his head, 50 in, 30 seconds to go. I can be a fucking hero again. Oh, Rich Jones goes, you won't kick that. I said, what a bit. Oh, <laughs> sorry, goes. Wolves is sacked. Yeah, he's right here. So some good laughs. Make sure you check out Daisy's podcast. Season 2 of the platform back soon. Thanks to Property AU. Thanks for watching.